But if I do get away with it, uh, you know, it would be a good gameplay for me and I get away with it and, you know, I'd be in a good spot in Castle Age and I got rewarded for playing well, for example, not just full walling. As a noob, I'm terrified of all the changes. Yeah, that's why we have patch videos on YouTube to break, break down these new saves for you. You can take a look at my patch videos. I explain a lot of things like that. Take a look at other people who went through the patch notes as well. I went through the new sibs at least, but that's why we have these YouTube videos. That's why you can ask me any question. I'll answer it any time about Age of Empires, about anything new, and it will help ease it in for you guys. But I, I dude, I 100% understand. I play other games casually. Like, just because I play this game professionally and I play it very consistently, I understand it to a high degree. Doesn't mean I'm not like oblivious to uh, what it feels like to play something from time to time and not know everything that goes on, so. Yeah, anytime you have a question, just let me know. I'll be happy to help you out, man. And, um, yeah, I play other games like, for example, Super Smash, Super Smash Bros. casually. Very, very casually. And and if there's any new characters, I just avoid them. Like, <laughs> I just wouldn't play them unless they look really cool. Um, but then if, I know if I wanted to learn them, i just watch a YouTube video on it. So, it, you know, it's kind of how it is. That's a good sense of having communities like this around. What do you think is Sicilian starting with extra stone? Um, it's kind of a random bonus to be honest. I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I don't think it's going to be super, super helpful. I think it's a nice bonus because it helps them with the dungeon rush, so it's a bit more with their identity. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be like, oh, your strategy will revolve around that extra 100 stone now. That That's my opinion. Yeah. What does the boy think is the new sips? Uh, I love them so far, man. <clears throat> I think it takes... The Bohemians are harder to play. It's going to take longer to figure them out. But Poles seem pretty flexible. Poles seem very uh, versatile and and they seem moderately powerful. Not overpowered, not uh, underpowered. That's my opinion. So far. Alright, I'm playing Sicilians here and I'm gonna go for the wait. I'm gonna try something different. I'm not gonna go for a scout opening this time around. I'm gonna go for a different kind of opening here against Sicilians. I'm gonna try maybe a men at arm opening and see how that plays out. Um, the only thing I don't like about the men at arm opening is that you can't afford horse collar necessarily in the early game. Which could be kind of problematic. And I think with Poles getting early horse collar with their mill is pretty good. I think you have to make a house here, boys. I don't think you can afford the mill right away. Oh no, you can. Yeah, you can. If you have four and wood, you can. If you have three and wood, you can. That's interesting. Men arm plus tower, and I mine stone. How about I try that? Yeah, how about I give that a go, eh? Versus Sicilians, it can be interesting. They do get that extra hundred stone, but they need to build um, dungeons. Let's try to go men arm tower and I mine only stone. How about that? Let's do it. Let's try it out. Sicilians can go mass knights and castles? Absolutely. Sicilians playing knights into cavalier is actually really good now. Um, Sicilians probably become one of the better um, one of the better sibs at the moment. Um, probably mid tier though. I don't know if they, they jump to top tier, but they probably become pretty decent. No, poles only get the special mill, so you actually cannot build the standard mill, which I think is a good thing because the problem is if they give you both options, it ends up being just like uh, kind of confusing, and uh, I don't think you need the smaller mill ever. Unique unit can take down the extra armor. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Maybe I put Arbless unique units here this game. Let's try that. I can try. I can try that. Late game if it gets there. Because the unique unit doesn't cost a lot of gold, yeah? Not at all. Yeah, mill also gives you plus 5 capacity, so it's like a, basically a house and a mill in one, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I don't know, dude, I, I'm, I'm really happy about this. I'm really happy with the new changes. The new mill, basically in a nutshell, what the new mill does, and again, I highly recommend if you want to see uh, an in-depth in little first impression, check out my YouTube channel, I did post a video right away about the new civilizations and the tech tree and, and, and their bonuses. But in a nutshell, what the mill does is that it, it gives you 10% um, of every farm that you build within seven tiles of its middle, of its middle. Within seven tiles, any farm you build gives 10% of that farm's food in, immediately as extra food for you in the bank. So it's actually quite a, a strong, uh, quite a strong bonus there. And it also gives you an extra five population space acts as like a house. So yeah, um, seems interesting for sure. We're gonna go over to stone. I think we're gonna need like three bills of stone probably. That would make sense to mine enough. We'll, we'll actually go for, I think you might need quite a bit of stone to get access to enough gold for four militia and then arm upgrade or three militia and then arm upgrade depending on what I can afford. 
And the thing about the mill is I have to show you guys, I have to explain it to you guys one more time. So it's the center of the mill, 7,000 either direction, and the entirety of the farm has to be in, in, in the mill. So if this works, this would not work because the entirety of the farm is not within seven tiles from the center of that mill. So it really is just the farms around it, but you can be like a couple tiles away and you'll still be fine. All right, so there's just a quick little explanation of that. All right, so we're gonna send four bills forward now and we are mining stone, which also gives us gold. I wonder how much gold I'm getting though. He knows I'm doing men arms. I don't think he knows I'm doing the tower rush yet though. Uh, but let's see. I'm getting a good amount of gold here, guys. I'm getting a really good amount of gold. This is this is working. Yellow jacket. This is. I would say this is working. I'm very happy so far. Yeah. So now he understands exactly what I'm doing, which uh, you know could be problematic him, him scouting it. But again, he's got forward berries, forward gold, and forward wood. So he's gotta he's gotta come up with something spectacular here <clears throat> if he wants to win the game. I'm going to start by walling and going with the stable. I'm going to continue working down that stable right away. <clears throat> or begin, sorry, I should say. I think I have to do a dungeon here. Yeah, he's, he's dying here. There's no way this is good. There's no way this is good. <clears throat> oh, no. Oh no, I messed up. <laughs> That's something I have to get used to, making the farms around the actual mill. Around the actual thingy. Alright, I'm gonna have to actually get forward now with a few more. Okay. He's gonna go with the dungeon defense here, which means I can actually just force the situation. He's in a lot of problems here, guys. He's in a lot of problems here. And I can continue committing to the men at arms as well. He's in a lot of problems. This is not easy to defend, especially for the Sicilian player. That farm won't get its bonus. Let's go here. Dude, this is insanely strong. And the thing is, mining just one resource makes it so smooth to get the tower rush going. And now, I'm not just having stone being floating, I actually got a lot of gold out of that stone. So yes, I'm floating stone now, which I can use for towers, but it's not just stone, which you normally have that problem where you just have random stone. You actually have a lot of gold from this. This is actually really good. I like this. Now, I gotta be critical that Man at Arm Tower is not the most meta strategy. Keep that in mind. It's not the most meta strategy, it has a lot of weaknesses, so it's not going to be like you can do this every game. But as a strategy, this now becomes pretty damn viable. Let's continue tower rushing here, I probably want to get a blacksmith soon as well. I can slow down the mana arms though, I don't think I need more than this. Maybe try to get into castle at some point as well. Now the question is, do I farm around my TC or do I make another mill? Milling my deer might be useful with the sieve, because you need the, the second mill anyway, right? So milling the deer could be useful. Obviously in this case I lured some, but maybe don't lure and just scout and then mill it. 
Uh, my abilities do regenerate, yeah. So it's really good for the Tower Rush indeed. Yeah, that's a good point as well. I don't already have Horse Collar. In fact, I couldn't afford it. And I think I would want to get it eventually, but it's not really a priority at the moment. I think I prioritize Fletching. Maybe even Forging first. Vivi may come back with the Civ. Vivi relevant again? <laughs> Karapa. I got a range here. We got to attack that one now. I don't think I'm a pretty. I don't think I'm a bad mana arm tower player myself, honestly. I think I'm pretty decent with the strategy, because it, it relies a lot on aggression, and I think my aggression is pretty solid. But it's not my go-to, that's for sure. I think that should get the the bonus. I'm not 100%. No, no, that, that shouldn't. It, it won't actually. It won't. Yeah, and I already used all, 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 all that farm space up. Uh, hack. Thanks to the Prime Gaming sub. Really appreciate it, man. I'll just do some farms here now. Killing so much, getting forging now. I don't have horse color though. I think it's too deep to go in. Oh, that's fine. I think this will be the end of my attack now. Usually it's a bad sight, but in this case it's pretty good. No. Um, send these guys forward again. Oh, no building. I guess I can go unique unit after this. I can go unique unit after this. Mining a lot of stone, man. This sieve is sick. Stone is such a useful and flexible resource in the mid game if you can mine it without having to sacrifice your economy. The whole point with stone is that it's probably like, like I said, like the most useful resource in messy games. But the thing is, you hurt your economy so much by mining it that it's not worth it. That's the whole idea. Uh, 
I don't think that's a good idea. I can repair from inside the tower. That probably should get fixed as well. Polish bonus and Drake is gonna get mega nerfed? I don't necessarily know if it's gonna get mega nerfed, honestly. It doesn't feel, the Polish pulls don't feel too okay. I guess plus one damage is archers, so I should do seven damage here. Indeed. Okay, have I made Ring Hisar yet? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. And that is a fantastic strategy here with the Meta Arm Towers only mining stone using the gold that you get from there to afford the Meta Arms. And, and you can just go so heavy on the pressure. And then the follow up for this, this the, the thing about the strategy, right, is the follow up is also amazing. You get a castle that you can drop because you're mining stone constantly in Feudal Age. So I can drop a castle forward, I can get extra talent centers. I have the option for really solid knights as well, especially when I get the unique tech that makes them cheaper. So the all is also very good. Make a build order for this. I might actually do a build order for the next month with this with this build order, right? with this particular strategy. Very nice one. I like it.